And then in this test we're going to be using the Gara AT Pro International, my version, but still an AT Pro. Uh, we're going to try vertical co coin tests, so we're going to put these coins, all the coins that I'm going to be using, we'll be putting them side on in the ground and detecting to see if we're going to pick them up. Now this hole here is dug out at 7 inches. As you can see at 7 inches. I'm going to stick the coin in, side on. I'm going to fill it in. Stamp it in. It's 7 inches. Seven inches, not a problem. Now we're going to try the Visio V says MD. Not a problem. So that's seven inches. Both of them are hitting the old copper. Not a problem. On the next coin. Right guys, next up I've filled the hole in and compacted it down at six inches. I'll show you that in a minute. This is just a standard King George sixpence. This one's 1943. Now, as you can see, compacted it oh, six inches. I'm going to put it in standing up. Oh, fell over. There we go. And they're good and proper. Yeah, the AT Pro, six inches on its side. Getting it, but it's real sketchy. Now it's time for the cheapo. Not getting it. So I've taken it, but in all fairness, I wouldn't have taken it with the Art Pro either. So I'll bring it up and maybe reduce the height. See you in a sec. Right, guys, we just dug another hole. It's sitting at four and a half inches, same Georgia 5th. Uh, yeah, Georgia 6th, sorry, 1943, silver sixpence. I'm going to put it in now. Standing on its edge, I'll show you it. Four and a half inches. Cover it in. Stamp it up. Four and a half inches, got it AT Pro. Yeah, now but this roots in the way. Two seconds. Hey right, guys, we're back again. We just snapped that out of the way. Right. AT Pro gets it, not a problem. V says MD. Visual. Also hitting it four and a half inches. A few branches in my way causing a bit of trouble here, but it's 
not a problem. So <laughs> there really is not much difference in it. Like I'd, I'd give it an inch. No joke, I would give it an inch on that cheaper detector. Pretty sickening when you pay 650 quid for top of the range stuff. On the next coin. Hey guys, in this one we got eight and a half inches hole and we're gonna stick a two pound coin. And may I add, this coin here happens to be an error, a mint error, if you notice the little beads around the inside on the silver part. They shouldn't actually be there. So I've just found a mint error coin. <laughs> Excellent, and it's a. Uh, what does it say? 1945 to 2005. Well, anyway, stick it in, side on. We have got eight and a half inches. First up, we're going to have the app Pro. Small signal, but it's there. Now for El Chipo. Nope. It's getting too close to the tripod. No, nah, not hitting it. Eight and a half inches on the sideways coin. Just not hitting it, so we'll dial it back a bit. Back in a sec. Hey right, guys, we're back again. We've got the whole dug at six and a half inches, same two pound coin. Stick it in standing up, show you we've got six and a half inches, maybe closer to seven. Getting it, not a problem. Ooh, not having it. The visual of EZS MD is not touching it. It's six and a half inches on its side. Oh well, we'll dig it up and we'll have another shot. Hey guys, we've got four and a half inches, nearly five here. Same two pound coin. Stick it on its side. Remember, this is cupra nickel and a brass. Most other things give a much better signal, so. Definitely compacting. Right, at pro, four and a half. It's hitting it, but it doesn't like it. I'd give it about five inches with the Visa SMD, and that's the worst possible way you can find a coin. That's not bad. That's some. That's good action from a 50-pound metal detector. But yeah, 
So if you want to see what these were like or compared to each another, uh, you would think they would be miles apart, when in fact they're not. So I'm a bit shocked on the outcome of that. And of course the App Pro, if I'll show you, the App Pro is a much more durable machine. It's thick, sturdy, better build quality. This thing's really flimsy and loose and can't, hard to really even take it seriously. But yeah, you better believe this thing pulls the goodies out of the ground. Uh, but 650 bucks, 50 bucks. Pretty much hitting the same targets, pulling them all out the ground. I can even tell the difference with this one if it's a bit of trash or if it's a coin. There's a difference in the tone. There's a much elongated beep for a bit of trash and a shorter one for the coin. But yeah, just to show you. That's the results done right in front of you. Hard compacted soil stamped down, coin left up on its side. Showed you the depths, the measurements, so that's the outcome. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me. It's Horde Hunter and I'm out. Bye.